Sutton, do you have any response? My wife and I talked about her release. And uh, now, after hearing what she has to say, I, I'm convinced she's remorseful and poses no threat to my family. I would have no objection to her parole. Thank you. You want to assure you Miss Glass will be forbidden from approaching any members of your family or your home? Actually, I'll be seeing Sid Glass a fair amount. Well, how so? We found a lot of money which might belong to the Glass family. We believe Sid can help us figure out who it belongs to. How much money? A hundred thousand dollars. Sylvia, I've been calling her all day. Sylvia, where have you been? Home. Look, it's a long story. I'm sorry this is the first time I could call. I got kicked out of the play because of that text. Did you report me? No, it wasn't me. It was my lunatic mother. Sorry, there's just nothing I can do. Sylvia, I need you to talk to the principal. I need you to tell him I'm innocent. And... Mom! This is Mrs. Torres. If you call my daughter again, I will notify the police. Hey, you guys. Dad just drove up. Nate Ray's here. Hey, Nate. Hi, Dad. Dad. You remember Sid Glass? said she was being released you didn't mention she was staying with us i had no choice jen the friend she was supposed to stay with left town some family emergency is just for a couple of days how does cassie feel about it she invited sid to stay in her room i'd never let her in this house if i thought she was a threat you sure it's just a couple of days that's what the friend said if it's any longer i'll find a halfway house for her. look now i gotta go to the airport nate ray's doing an hour can I bring anything before I leave? I think you brought me enough for one day. I knew it. I knew it this morning. Oh, Charles, don't be upset. I want to be honest with you. So, you're applying to Pratt. That's what you're saying? Yes. I, I thought that couples were supposed to make decisions together. That's why I'm telling you, so you can apply to design schools there. We could be in the most exciting city in the world. How about the most expensive city? I'm sure you'll get a scholarship. Your work is amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you're sure. Don't be negative. Cassie, I'm not being negative. Oh I'm... my God, Charles, I think Nate Ray's home. I gotta go. Just being realistic. Super fun! Marie's not the army. But Welcome home, Nate. Nate. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Looking good, man. <laughs> I'll take this. Want to hear my new tunes? I've been writing a lot. Let the man have a breath, Tay. Yeah, I'm sure he's hungry. Dinner's almost ready. We made chicken and dumplings. Mm. Beats Afghanistan off the hell. Just about anything would. <laughs> 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 Just be thankful Dad didn't make dinner. Uh, Cassie and I made it. Uh, Mom's recipe. She wanted to eat with us, but... Um... Doctor's orders. Bed rest. She's on the men, though, right? Yeah, we only have to deal with Dad's cooking one more week. Ah, <laughs> come on, guys. I'm, I'm getting better, right? Hmm. Don't everyone speak at once. <laughs> so, uh... Sid, how do you know the family? I used to live here. Oh, she came to see the house one day. It's a long story. Who 
was that? It's just a helicopter, son. You okay? Yeah, um... When that happens over there, it means bodies being brought back to base. The guy you had lunch with might not be coming to dinner. Who wants a dessert? It's strawberry shortcake. It's really good. Thanks. Uh, maybe later. I need some mayo. You want me to come? I kind of need to clear my head, Tay. Just, um, give him some space. He's been through a lot. We're done with dinner, Charles. We need to talk about this. Seems to me there's nothing to talk about. I want you there with me. But if I don't get in, then you're still going, right? Will you be positive? Well, it's easy to be positive when you've got an aunt who can get you in, a place to live, and a chimney full of money. Oh, come on, Charles. If you don't try, you, you can't succeed. I'll see you tomorrow. We're just going through a rough patch. When I look at your stuff, I'd say real rough. I did that after the earthquake. A lot of bad stuff has happened. It's really good. If I were you, I'd go to that art school. I don't know if I'm even going to apply. Because of that guy? If I had a chance to go to art school, I wouldn't let anything stop me. going through my stuff. I wasn't. Mom said to bring you an extra blanket. I didn't mean to. It's just a radio. No, you don't touch that radio. You understand? I got it. Whoa, uh, <laughs> welcome to my very own private cuckoo's nest. Are you okay? Why are you at home, and why won't your mom let me talk to you? She found that sexting picture that Martyr and her coven spread around. Why is that my fault? It's not. Look, the problem is she also found the text you sent me. Well, can't you just tell her they tricked me? Not unless I want more naked pictures of me all over. Marta said that Dan took pictures of me, and we were... You know, so if I bust Marta, they'll send them all over. That's awful. Look, if I, if I could help you, I would. Okay, but don't quit on me, please. I really want this role. Here. Yeah. Tay, I wanted to apologize for last night. It's pretty harsh. I'm sorry. So why'd you go off? Coming back from a place where people are shooting at you can make you a little jumpy. What's the big deal with the radio? I took it on all my missions. Yeah? It's like your best friend, Tay. That ain't your weapon. <laughs> you show eyes and ears so you know where the enemy is or where he's gonna be. What happened to it? Dust, sand, wear and tear just gave out. I mean, Sarge is gonna.